to uh, State College. Sarah Eckert from outside Beaver Stadium joins us now. Sarah, earlier today, current players who played for Joe meeting as a family uh, earlier this afternoon around 2 o'clock. Uh, what was that scene like? Well, Casey, I was only one of two media members outside the Lash building as players entered for their meeting and then left afterward. Of course, all very emotional, but some with slight smiles of laughter as they tried to celebrate Joe Paterno's memory. The meeting was rather short. Players saying it was a chance for them to get together along with staff to reflect and say prayers. Also, new head coach Bill O'Brien's letter was read aloud, and new defensive coordinator Ted Roof spoke to the group as well. When the players began to leave the building, a couple were gracious enough to share their thoughts. It's, it's definitely hard. Um, you know, I don't think it's really sunk in yet, um, but it will within the next couple of days to, to lose somebody like Coach Paterno, who's done so much for, the, for not only even the football program, but for the university. And uh, it, it's, just, it's just a hard day. I mean, really, uh, I have no words to say. I, 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 don't know, I don't know how to express myself. Well, of course, we've been through a lot, but uh, Joe's been through a lot, and so has everyone else. It's not just us. It's the Penn State community. It's, it's college football in general, uh, the whole state of Pennsylvania. I was also able to speak with defensive line coach Larry Johnson Sr. Johnson and Ron Vanderlinen were the only two assistant coaches O'Brien retained from the former staff. Johnson was on paternal staff for 16 years, and this is what sticks out to him most. I remember my reason for being here is because of Coach Paterno. He reached out to me as a young coach out of high school and hired me on the staff and told me one thing, that I get a chance to spend time with my family. And so that sticked out to me because he's never backed down on that, and I've been able to do that, and I have a chance to work for a great, great, great coach. The players also told me they plan on doing something special to honor Paterno. They just don't know what that will be yet. I also spoke with some former players throughout the day. Of course, they're all very emotional as well as they reflect on what Paterno meant to them. Some telling me that they were planning to come to State College on Tuesday as they await official word on when the players only viewing will be as well as the public viewing. Right now, live in State College, Sarah Eckert, WTAJ Sports.